Hello, hi. Welcome to the app uh, SQLite Studio. I'm Rani Ahmed. I'm the author of uh, this uh, application. It's a database uh, uh, SQLite uh, editor. You know, there's a database uh, of the form SQLite. Okay, it uses the uh, true SQL as much as it uh, can uh, use of the SQL. And it edits uh, the uh, database files on the uh, formats of uh, SQLite okay and you know SQL is a uh, the structured query uh, query language so let's start this is the icon of the uh, app this one in the black and uh, white okay and this um, um, you're running the uh, app here on the uh, emulator and this this is uh, emulating the uh, tablet and this app is, uh, can also run on uh, phones Okay, and the pictures that you see on the uh, uh, apps page, okay, uh, they are from uh, my uh, Samsung phone. Okay, so um, and I'm using here the tablet just to screenshot and uh, screencast the uh, and explain the app for you, okay, directly on the uh, PC. Okay, so let's start perfectly, you know, here. So uh, when you just start uh, running the app, okay, you find a button that will ask you whether you want to uh, open or create a new database file, okay, or you can use uh, the a recently opened database. So if you have just opened the database file, you, the last one, always the very last one, and it will list only the very last one opened, okay, you see it here uh, listed uh, and listing its uh, full path on your uh, device. Uh, instead of uh, typing uh, none so when there's nothing because we have just have uh, we're having here I mean a fresh start we just have uh, the word none okay uh, now and to also check for you whether the file uh, is there that you want to open or not okay now uh, let's imagine I want to open uh, a file okay that's a database SQLite file now here's the uh, you know the uh, file browser I can either uh, navigate to a folder, and the current folder tab, uh, that I'm in is uh, here. Okay, and I've made the uh, first uh, entry always to be the uh, uh, SD card entry. Okay, always set like that, so I can access it quickly. And uh, also, the uh, if you, for example, uh, reach somewhere where you want to create a new file. Okay, to make it a database file so um, just browse to that folder and of course you're there but uh, just type that name here okay when you press the create DB here it will make the full path as of this file uh, the current folder okay uh, plus the file name okay and it will create new uh, new file okay so there is uh, an already made file for me so I can go here and then I use this cache.sqlite3 it's a, a database file for a point of sale app okay now there's a, the table okay or the tables of my database let's imagine I want to create a new one so if I say open I go to the emulated here and then I file name new db SQLite okay and create new DBC okay so there are no tables here so uh, I can for example go and create a new table here let's make some arbitrary table maybe students and uh, add new fields okay and uh, just as the message said okay the uh, the fields uh, which are or whose entries are empty will not be added to that table so beware okay and the primary keys uh, are uh, going through the path of uh, combined primary keys okay uh, there's no auto increment here okay? if you want to make one go to the SQL editor and uh, create one like that okay so um, here's the field name like for example I want to say uh, the uh, first name Okay, and make it as text. 
and add new field so you set it as primary with the last name and add new field and maybe his phone number And this will create a new table for me. I'll just set this to integer. Okay. And that's it. Okay. See, this is my students. I can just add new record. Okay. For example, this is me, Ani. Okay, so here's the phone number. Okay, and here's the uh, name, and here's the last name, Ahmad. Okay, I just like uh, fooled by that uh, the phone number here because it's an integer. It will give you a keyboard just for integers. You won't see uh, phone numbers. You won't see text here. So the emulator he did not tell me. Okay, sorry for that. So um, and I can just set a new record. Okay, I can go to students and browse it. Okay, you see the phone name here. Okay, and I can just, for example, click a long click, and either I can update the row. So for example, I say, for example, here, I make it as shorter number. Okay. Not students, see it's gone updated. And also I can make a long click because uh, I made it a long click, not a direct click, a single click because I want you to think of uh, what you're doing before you do it. Okay. And so uh, you delete the, that row and you can ask whether I want to delete it or not. So let's delete it. Okay, and it's gone. Let's make it another one. And this is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is Ani, Katya. Okay. And so next. So this is the list of tables. You should see it here. Like you see, like you saw it in the uh, uh, in the cashier file. So I will escape also and go back. So you can find now here the last open file. I can just click it and go back directly to the last open file. Okay, now uh, let's open again the uh, cashier file because it contains more examples on how to use this app. So when I uh, click it, and just for you just to see that this is the last open file, so you always see the last open file here, okay? So I have a, a huge table named the item uh, it contains a list of uh, items from uh, that are sold in Australia, mostly are uh, convenience store stuff. Okay, so this is uh, browsing for the next pages, and you see there are uh, multiples of uh, 50. Okay, and it will always tell you the last, uh, the current uh, query string for the current uh, query. Okay. Now uh, the paging can be set from the applications main menu here in the settings. Okay, and you can just save it here and say how many rows you want uh, in the query viewer. Okay. Now um, this is the items. Okay, and you saw that you can double click and edit a row. Okay. Now, if I want, also I can as I saw, insert a new record. Okay. Now, what I want to show you is, if I click a long click, I can. Here, there's a problem with the emulator. Sorry. So, uh, if I click a long click, uh, you can either drop the table, 
create a new index in that table or view the uh, structure query okay okay so if I click the structure query you can see the query string of the structure query and you can also rename that table so if I want to say I can rename it to tail item 2 so it's now changed I can click the long click I can go to rename it back as it was okay now this is the creating of a new index okay now uh, you have to understand first here yeah, the order you click uh, the add fields button okay is the name is the same order they will appear in the create index query I've made here for you a um, preview of your uh, create uh, index query okay so you see what will happen when you add them so if I want to say like a new index and I want to make it a unique index and for example I click the description then the barcode then the category ID okay and so I want to make it ASC and also make it DSC here and there's none okay and uh, please also remember that you have to uh, click the menu here before clicking the buttons okay see because this way you can see the DSC appearing because this asks for this okay so when you just uh, load this page this activity it will load the button the button will read this and uh, when it's none it will not have any index here okay so this is my create uh, index query okay and I can create one I have to tell you this is your query and it's executed okay and just I can go back and I can go for example list all the query uh, the indexes that I have made okay and this is my new index so I can click a long click and I can view the structure query and I can copy it to clipboard if I want maybe if I want to do something similar using the SQL uh, SQL editor okay I can uh, drop this one okay I can go for example like I told you to the SQL editor now you have to remember that if your query contains a selected statement it will go to the pager you know the query pager like in the listing of the table contents and here the type your qu single query here to execute it must not end with a semicolon must not also contain the select query part about the limit and the offset because I've made them for you in the uh, pager okay in the query view pager and in the settings you see there's a number of uh, rows per page okay so you can easily browse it and also let's paste the uh, index query because I have just dropped it so paste it okay and execute the query okay if there is anything here uh, any problem in your query in your grammar of the query okay, it will uh, give you the message over here okay and I've given uh, for you an enough space so, so you can type freely with a wider view okay now this is also uh, list all views okay and this is a long click similarly drop view or view query structure you can copy it too you can also have list all triggers same thing a long click and view the structure or drop it okay and you can copy it also to clipper okay so this is uh, mainly uh, the uh, app okay i hope uh, you enjoyed it um and share it with your friends see in the main uh, menu here there's also a share with your friends and there's also my other apps 
here you can just um, select whichever you want from those apps and this is my about page okay this is my website okay thanks for watching enjoy